It's night one of the Last Chance Stampede PRCA Rodeo. Lots of guys and gals trying to rope and ride their way into some big checks this weekend. Let's get to the highlights. Corvallis's Caleb Bennett opened the night with a stellar 84.5 point ride and bareback riding will hope to hold that top spot alongside Texas's Tilden Hooper. Logan John Beatty got things started for steer wrestling and like Bennett did not disappoint. The Helena native recorded the fastest time on the day with 5.0 seconds flat. Jesse Brown from Oregon just a hair slower at 5.3 seconds. Just two teams of ropers qualified on night one in team roping with Great Falls as Sean Bissett and Augusta's Matt Robertson holding the top spot through night one with a near stellar time of 6.2 seconds. That time would not hold, however, as the calf slipped the hind leg from the hold with a five-second penalty to bring the Montana duo's time to a total of 11.2 seconds. Ben Anderson, a Canadian from Alberta, rode with a vengeance in the saddle bronc, recording a score of 87 points to take the top spot after night one. Travis Nelson of Broadus is the lone Montana in the money right now, tied for fourth with 74 points. Caleb Burquist, a member of the Montana State Rodeo Squad, takes a slim hold over the top spot and tie down roping through one day sheet. The Washington native led the way with 7.8 seconds, followed closely by Texas's Ace Sloan with a time of 7.9 seconds. And while Gardner Shea McDonald was fast clambering around the barrel racing course with a time of 17.97 seconds, Tennessee's Carly Taylor was just a bit faster. Taylor, the 2019 Rookie of the Year, recorded a time of 17.82 seconds to take the top spot. Just one man was able to conquer for the ranked bulls at the stampede on Thursday night. That man was Valier's Cole Wagner. Wagner, with five second place finishes and one win under his belt already this year, conquered Big Colt for an 85.5 point ride to wrap up a busy Thursday evening. The Last Chance Stampede will run slack Thursday night and continue into round two on Friday at 7.30 p.m. Reporting in Helena, Sam Hoyle, MTN Sports.